sorry. Oh, hey there. My name's Super Ken for Super Ken Gaming, and welcome to SK Storytime. Just sit back, relax, and let me put you to sleep with my sultry, beautiful voice. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. I don't deal with to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'm not giving you a hundred dollars. I'll be fine. You know how many Abstergo credits I could buy for that? Wish I could help. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Yeah, right. You're a hashtag Good stalker. Know. You should get cleaned up. Talking to my ex you look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Clean up, okay? I clean up, okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Rude. Don't you dare kiss me with those gross legs. Hey. I need to tell you something. Don't you dare confess what your What is it? Right now. No! You're not as mad as everyone says you are. Works. No! Ah! I just got my death sentence! That's worse. I'll see you around. I don't want to Whoa. spoil Walking Dead, but you know what I'm saying? That's worse than whatever happens in Walking Dead. That's my, that's my kiss of fate. I just got cheek herpes. My life is over. You know how this story ends. Kiss of death. Ugh. And my cheek smells like an ashtray. A hipster. Apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. What's this? Stay off the grass. Still can sometimes be a disciplinarian. I feel like stepping on. Well, well, well. If it isn't an ex girlfriend. Come on out, lady. Come on out. Is this little red riding hood? All right, all right. Beauty. 
Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but late. there's an explanation. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? Let's get third degree burned across your Damn face. Damn it, I'm late. Like that again. The sheriff of this town, maybe. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Oh, this is a tale He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. I can't do that, Beauty. No. I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. I don't have time to go into it right now. Honest man, tales I'll explain it all to you later. I will, be. but I have to go. We're leaving friends, and somebody bends. It's not what you might be thinking. I'm thinking you're a hoe, beast. I mean, beauty. Bellstrom for Jezebel. Uh, this comes out at, at 10 o'clock for a reason. Since I got any mail. Double check. Two five. Seventh day in a row. Nope. Nobody loves me. Seventh day in a row. We get mail on Sundays in this land. Yo, bro, you need, need to wake up. See if not a job. Fly catcher needs to dust this guy. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh, this is Beast. I did. Yeah, I did. I'm not lying. What? Beast when? Loyal. Just now. Just seconds ago. You saw her just now. Just a few seconds ago. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. You're welcome, Beast. Bros before hoes. Always looking out for you. I'd want to know if my bell was a Jezebel sneaking out. Ladies, don't be so promiscuous in your life. Have a little bit of loyalty. Just, just a little bit. By a little bit, I mean all of it. No reason to be a hoe. Damn, should have cracked a window. Don't be a hoe, just leave. Ice. I 
Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Give me ketchup. Doesn't count I don't as a beard. Ordering that. Probably a bad sign. It's a stubble. <laughs> Why do I have a pig on my couch? Hey, Colin. Colin. Get up. Colin the pig. <sighs> no, not again. Smack this pig. Hey, Big B. Biggie. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, you are. Get out. Yeah, get out. Why? Why do I have a pig? Are these one of the pigs I huffed and puffed and blew their house down? Or is this one of the little pigs that went to market? Got a smoke? Smoked ham. I can't stop myself today. <laughs> Don't smoke kids. Or adults. Thanks. Nobody. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. I did blow Can't keep sneaking down. off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine you build your house they sell you is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. Don't be dramatic. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Softly delicious, pig. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I don't care if anyone hates me. It's better to be feared. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. But I agree with it. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. It's all my hands. I'm missing. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It's not my fault. It wasn't my fault. Kinda. I get the impression you say that a lot. I do. I do call him the pig. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, there was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. I was nice to her. Helped her out. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we oh. live a long fucking time. I'll bite it. I need friends. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? 
You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. That is all for SK Storytime today. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll be back putting you to sleep every day of the week at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching.